actually presented very nice. Good morning everyone, this is Vic Lee and today I am going to a place that's gonna warm you up. Guys, we just had a bunch of snow that pretty much launched on us. Like it was a blizzard night, 8 to 12 inches, um, freezing cold, it was just pretty messy. And what's the perfect antidote on days like this? Eating pho. So anyway, this video will be just for you. special items on here. One of them is the stuffed avocado and the, uh, also the papaya salad. Two signature items here at Hang Nu. Yes, you guys ready? For Toda. So anyways, this place was opened up about a few months ago. A few months ago opened up. It's actually a perfect timing today because it's, we just had a blizzard not too long ago. Uh, 8 to 14 inches of snow just landed here in the past few days. And it's a cold day, freezing day. And what's better than having some hot stone pho? So anyways, our first item has arrived, which is the specialty they have here, which is the stuffed avocado. I actually like how it is actually made. You see it's right here. So anyways, it's a stuffed avocado, and then it's stuffed with spicy tuna as well too, and then uh, scallions as well too, and then top with sesame seeds. So what they do is they cut in half, they stuff the avocado, they pull back together, they deep fry it, and then they cut into four pieces as well too. And then of course, look at the, the, the sauce on top. Um, and then it's ready to serve, just like this right here. Perfect. So let's actually go try it right now. It has a like nice crispy texture to it. It's like a, 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 a some kind of batter, like breadcrumbs or like kind of, yeah, it's like panko, panko crumbs. It gives a nice crispy texture to it as well. See how it is. That is delicious. Look at the inside right here. Nice fresh avocado. And you have the, the spicy tuna on top with sesame seeds on top. Oh yeah, very tasty. It's actually great. This is actually a very great substitute for something that's um, without the rice. So you're actually looking for sushi without the rice. This is actually perfect, very perfect. I love that firmness of the, the spicy tuna and then the, that Japanese uh, sauce they put on top of it mixed with avocado perfect perfect snack right here perfect size snack right here and it's good and it's healthy I love avocado it's very healthy so it's actually a perfect snack perfect size snack as well too oh yeah you can't beat this Check this out. Does that look, look delicious to you? So it's pretty much green papaya. You have your shrimp as well too. You also have some of that uh, green beans, carrots, tomatoes, mixed peanuts as well too, and then the shrimp on top. And then you also have the fried onions and garlic on top as well too, which actually looks very good, very, very delicious as well too. fresh green papaya mm, it has a very nice crunch very nice crunch for it the, the combination of the tomatoes the onions and you have that you have that the fried onion garlic on top of it really makes this dish stands out can you see the shrimp right here the shrimp is very, actually very, very, very clean cut, tasty, and extremely fresh. It's cooked just right. It cooked just perfect. 
I'm gonna have to have a little bit of everything right now. I got a little bit of shrimp, a little bit of papaya, a little bit of everything. I can only grab one of those uh, tomatoes as well too. One, one full bite. Boom. Mm. Oh man, this is good. I highly recommend this when you come here to Hongnu. One of the best dishes here. Oh, it's here. It's here. Oh, all right. Perfect. Thank you. Wow, it was delicious. Steaming, piping, hot, hot stone. Can you guys see this? take off my glasses because it's so steaming so yes the, the concept is actually very similar to hot pot in a way too you can actually call it almost like a sabu sabu in a way too or in Chinese they call it bao wo similar in a way too you have your your, your noodles your, your vegetables on the side your protein on the side and it comes out it's boiling it's steaming hot and there's a whole reason about it too so anyway first things first it comes with a side of like bean sprouts basil lime you also have your sriracha and hot hot sauce, your poison sauce as well too. And then up here you have your noodles, your steak, your brisket, tendons, tripe, and your meatballs as well too. Perfect items, just like sabu, just like hot pot in a way too. You eat it any way you like it. You can either toss everything inside if you want, you can either dip it eat it one by one any way you want any way you want so first and first how I eat it to tell you the, the the benefits of eating very hot stone fall that it's very important that when you put your condiments inside your herbs inside that everything is perfectly hot because most of the time when you put your vegetables inside it becomes lukewarm it's not as hot as you as I want it to be so it's very important that the way I like it the harder the food, the better. That's what they say. Harder the food, the better. So I'm gonna put my bean sprouts as well too. Love the bean sprouts. And then I'm also gonna squeeze some of that uh, lime. That's really good. So I'm actually start with. I'm actually gonna uh, start with the steak first because the steak looks absolutely astonishing. Some of that nice slice. Steak. And it only takes a few seconds to actually cook this. So put it in there and there you have it. Done. Dip it in some of that hot sauce as well as you feel like. Mmm. Very good. Beef is very tender. First things first off, you need to try the broth. Let me try the broth really quick. The nice, preferably cooked beef broth. Make sure you go on it first. Ooh. Ah, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot, but it's good. Ooh, that's a good broth. The broth is actually very nice and clear. This is how you know that it's a good broth. When it's nice and clear, they actually take a lot of time to prepare it. Uh, it's probably been simmered, cooked um, for maybe 10 plus hours or more. I'm not sure, but I can tell right now that this is actually a really good broth. Yeah, let's grab some of that. Yeah, pho. Let's take that whole pho inside right now. So I could eat it. I could either, well, anyways, I could either put everything inside if I want to or eat everything separately. So it's completely, entirely your choice if you want to eat it. Like a, 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 a actually a really authentic food dish, or you eat it like kind of hot pot style. So the option is yours. I have to try it separately because I'm so used to eating pho as everything combined. So first things first, let's try these noodles. These noodles looks really good. Rice, uh, perfectly cooked rice noodles. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. This is delicious. Yeah, that meatball. Grab that front of the meatball, put that meatball inside. 
gonna grab some of that uh, that brisket and we'll grab a, a tendon. Now while you put this in here, it's cooking as is. I mean, because it's so hot. It's not bubbling no more, but it's still cooking. That's how hot the hot stone is right now. For some people, people like to put their sriracha and hoisin sauce inside the pho. I'm more of a dipper, so I like my sriracha and hoisin sauce on the side. So I like to dip my stuff inside. There's that thinly sliced beef. All you need is a few seconds. And it's done. Depending on how you like your steak. I like my kind of medium rare. Yep, there you go. Depends on that uh, sriracha hoisin. Mmm. Yeah. Now my favorite item for pho is tendons. I love tendons. I spray some of that hoisin sriracha sauce on top of it. Oh my god. No chewing, it's like jello. It goes right in perfectly. Grab some of that meat, take it inside. Like I said, it's almost like just like hot pot, just like sabu in a way too. The only thing is you're you're in control. So it's kinda of like this above that you're pretty much in control of your condiments and meats. That's what I like about it. tastiest, hottest pho I've ever had. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a customer here for life. But anyways, this ends this food review of Hong New, the hot stone pho. It was absolutely, absolutely amazing. You can tell right now that the, 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 the chefs back there, they take a lot of time to actually keep get the stone really, really hot for you guys. Try. So I definitely recommend you guys come over here and try it out. I also want to say uh, thank you to the owner, Tan Nu, for actually recommending me to come here. Uh, definitely recommend it. Love the Aston Pho. I love the papaya salad and the stuffed avocado. Three amazing items that you should definitely try when you are in town in Chicago. I'll be leaving the description down below for you to check it out. Anyways, this ends this food review. If you like this video, please give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the bell button too for next time as well too, okay? But anyways, signing out. Peace.